Hi there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the essential topic of the 203K permit process in Philadelphia. If you're planning a renovation, you'll want to stick around because we've got all the details you need. So, before you start knocking down walls for your 203K renovation in Philadelphia, did you know you need a permit? Let's start by understanding what a permit is. A permit is an official authorization issued by a government agency that allows you to undertake a specific activity. In the context of your renovation project, it ensures that your work meets building codes and safety standards. Without these permits, you could face costly fines and delays. Now, let's break down the permit process in Philadelphia. If you're planning any construction or renovation in the city, you'll need to obtain a permit from the Department of Licenses and Inspections. Here's how it works. First, determine what type of permit you need, which varies based on your project. Then, you'll apply for the permit, providing details on your scope of work and materials. Once you've applied, L&I reviews and approves your permit. Once approved, you're good to go with your renovation. But remember, inspections are part of the process. Now, let's explore the different types of permits you might need. Philadelphia offers several permits tailored to specific types of work. Here are some common ones. An easy permit is perfect for minor projects, requiring minimal paperwork. It's ideal for tasks like adding a small deck, limited commercial alterations, or replacing appliances in a one- or two-family dwelling. A building permit is needed for significant construction, expansion, or interior, exterior changes. However, smaller projects like maintenance may not require it. Mechanical permits are for installing systems regulated by the Philadelphia Mechanical and fuel gas codes, like HVAC systems. Electrical permits are required for various electrical work, from rewiring to installing outlets or switches. Plumbing permits cover plumbing work, including installation, renewal, or repair, ensuring compliance with building codes. And there are many other permits, including excavation site permits, foundation-only building permits, and more, depending on your specific project. Before you start the process, make sure you meet these requirements. You'll need to complete a detailed permit application, and your 203K contractor should have an active license, be tax compliant, and have insurance. Some projects may require third-party inspections, and you might need various documents depending on your project's complexity. Now, let's talk about how to navigate the 203K permit process in Philadelphia. First, identify your project's scope, then determine which permits are necessary. Gather all the required documentation, and when you're ready, apply for the permit. You can apply either online or in person. Once you have your permit, you're ready to start your renovations. The permit approval process may take some time, so be patient. After approval, ensure you comply with all building codes and regulations during your renovation. Inspections are a crucial part of the process. It's your contractor's responsibility to schedule inspections. You can do this by phone or through the Eclipse system. After the work is complete, a final inspection confirms code compliance. In conclusion, navigating the 203K permit process in Philadelphia might seem challenging, but it's essential for a successful renovation. And for those who want a helping hand, Matrix Company Solutions Corp. is a certified 203K contractor with 25 years of experience. We can guide you through the process and ensure your renovation dreams come true. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, whether you're knocking down walls or just looking for information, we've got you covered. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more valuable content. Until next time, happy renovating.